All right, if you're having issues installing Windows 11, let me show you here. So this shows this TPM 2.0. If your computer's not too old, let me show you one way you might fix this. So we're gonna restart the computer. We're gonna press F2 or delete to get into the BIOS, okay? Um, usually it's either F2 or delete, but on some computers it's different. On HP, I believe it's F10. But anyways, I'm gonna press F2 and delete just back and forth just to make sure that one of them will get me into there. Okay, some computers I believe it's also F1, but uh, hopefully we got in. Okay, so this is a MAG7590 Tomahawk Wi-Fi MS-7D08. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over here to settings. All right, also make sure you're in advanced mode. So if you're not in, if you're in easy mode, you need to make sure to go to advanced, okay? So make sure to click advanced so it shows easy mode there. Okay, again, settings. We're gonna now go to security, trusted computing, and what we need to do is we need to enable this security device thing. Um, another thing I would recommend doing for Windows 11 is to enable Secure Boot, but let's make sure we're going to check um, just to see if Secure Boot's even necessary. So we're going to go out of this, out of that, out of that. Okay, uh, where's the, okay, we're just going to cl click that. And save configuration and exit. Yes, you can also push escape and or there's the save buttons and stuff. So we're going to wait for this to boot up and then we're going to check the PC health check again. All right. Okay, it's up. So we're going to go to start menu and we're going to do PC health check. Check now and you can see it's fine. So you don't need to enable secure boot, um, but I would enable it. So that's pretty much it. Now you can go ahead and install Windows 11. All right, if you want, you can use the Windows 11 installation assist, but I'm just gonna install Windows 11 from scratch. So I'm gonna boot from the Windows 11 device and install Windows 11. If you're not sure how to do that, feel free to leave a comment and I'll let you know. Um, it varies from computer to computer, model to model. So I'll need to know what computer model and everything you have. All right, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.